So here I am. Some other things that people have carved into the uh, stone here. I'm not very far up. Oh, there's the, uh, where is it? So basically, right here, this little thing right here is the Nabataean rock. Um, and I'm headed up that way. I might see eventually one day if I can get up there on that ridge. See where that takes me, where it goes. Like, I do not have much experience in mountains like this. So where I was in California, a lot of the trails, like, that we went on and things that we did, like, either you, uh, you had, like, trails you could hike up because the mountains were very large, very broad, or, um, you know, if there's, like, which is nothing that I ever got to, I never got to do the next thing I'm about to describe, which is, a. Uh, you know, like mountaineering, the mountaineering course. Excuse me, where you're on actual, you know, mountains um, that have that are sheer cliff faces. So the other mountains we climb don't really have very many sheer cliff faces, and even if they do, like we have a trail to like go up. So like if you're looking over the edge, it's the sheer cliff face. You're not really having to traverse a sheer cliff face unless you're taking the mountaineering course, and so. And also the major difference there too is the, the kind of stone that's there is very, very different than the stone here. Like, I'll give you an example. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, here we go. So the majority of the mountain is made out of this kind of rock right here. No snake, awesome. This kind of like rock right here. And you can look and see how easily that broke basically all sandstone let me see if I can get it in the shot there we go it's all sandstone so so it uh like and that's the rock right there like just you can even see the crack in it and so when it comes to climbing all of this stuff um, it's really, really dangerous because it can break very easily, and especially after like a fresh rain or even snowfall, because uh, ice will get in there and it'll expand. It'll stay cold, and as the weather warms, it'll finally melt, run down, and break off little bits and pieces. So it's um, it's not an easy place to climb, even for very experienced climbers, because of the kind of stone it is. So and this is where I'm at now so we don't have too much farther to get to the top this terrain looks like up here i'm trying to be really cautious and step on like the big rocks primarily because i want to ensure that i am high enough above the ground that if there is a snake i don't get bit and it's not often that i have seen snakes here like um you know really ever so which is not to say that they don't have them though so i want to take all the time that i can and be cautious find solid footing that i don't want fall from under me but then also that is high enough kind of like off of the dirt and the ground and like places like that that little hole um where snakes could kind of like easily sun themselves and then go back into their little den so almost there though not very much farther see all of that green that's how you know water flows down into this area because there are other canyons like you know where <clears throat> stuff comes down or not stuff comes down where it looks like stuff comes down rocks come down but there's no green growing um and that's because basically like the way the water channels work on top of those sandstone um, plateaus is very, very, like the channels lead away from a lot of these like canyon areas. So you actually don't see very much water, very much of these um, little green areas like in these canyons, as much as you think, you know, considering that water takes the path of least resistance. But a lot of times the path of the least resistance is, you know, one or two paths. And then it just kind of like continuously follows that and carves that out. All right, we're almost there. I'm going to start heading up more. 
So here I am with this. Um, that looks like an easier route, but this looks like both a more challenging and faster route. And I think it's gonna get me see like, oh, I don't know if you can really make it out very well. Oh, let me see. Oh, it's not. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't do a good job of showing the color. But there's this really, really bright, in this little crevice here, that little thing. Like if you were here, or if I had a better camera, you would see how green it is. Um, you could see kind of like on the uh, the rock face, like how the water drips down. Like that's what all of that, I'm suspecting what all of that black stuff is. Is it carrying the dirt from the top down into that little area? So I think I'm going to head up this way. Hopefully I don't fall and fucking snap my ankle. And originally I was going to kind of like have this as like I would pause and then record. But if I pause the video and then kind of like go to the home screen on my tablet it like completely stops the recording so this is going to be in pieces as opposed to one long uh one longer video so um i'm head up because i need both hands so this is going to cut out the next session or the this section of this particular video